So just last week, the fifth and what seems to be the last collab shoe between Adidas and Yu-Gi-Oh was leaked onto Twitter. Now I'm not really a shoe guy, but I had to cover this one because this specific shoe was shown to have a promo Dark Magician on the inside. So in today's video, we're going to be covering what makes this card unique as well as what makes it very similar to other Dark Magician cards from the past. And finally, we're going to be answering, is this card investable? Let's get into it. All right, now firstly, let's get the shoe out of the way real quick. Like I said before, I'm not a shoe guy, but I know ugly when I see it. And this shoe is screaming ugly. I don't know who's designing these things. I mean, honestly, you could have done way better. At least the first iteration of this collab, the blue eyes and the dark magician shoes looked a little bit decent. This one is just obnoxious. Like it is just so ugly, man. I don't know who thinks that they can pull these off, but there's an ice cubes chance in hell that you'll catch me wearing these in public like that's an easy pass for me but for the sake of this video we're gonna cover this shoe as well as the ones before it so the first two iterations of this shoe they came in all white but they had basically a cutout of sdk and sdy dark magician and blue eyes slapped onto them very poorly done in my opinion like the design did not flow the shoes looked kind of childish in my opinion but it is what it is they sold out and they actually go for three to four times more than what they retailed for in the more obscure sizes like the small feet and the super gigantic feet you might be able to get them for two to three hundred bucks but if you're talking like nine ten eleven you're going to be shelling out at least four hundred bucks now the second cola from the series started getting a lot uglier <laughs> and they introduced slippers with kaiba and blue eyes yugi and dark magician again i don't know who's green lighting these shoes man like these are so bad they're actually worse than the dragon ball z ones that they did like a few years back the white ones i guess you can kind of get away with them but the slippers man that like nah man i just can't wear something like this man but what i do have to give them props for is like the cool packaging and accessories that came with the shoe so obviously the boxes if you haven't seen them they look really really badass honestly i think they did a great job with the boxes even the tissue paper is marked with millennium items and stuff like that overall i think the presentation was pretty solid it's just the shoe is crap but the presentation was pretty awesome and then to top it off they actually included a hang tab of of an exodia piece in every single one of the shoes so the blue eyes shoe and the dark magician shoe they both had left and right leg and then the slippers had left and right arm and then this final collab is the one that's obviously gonna have the head but that gets us to this shoe right now this shoe has a lot more Yu-Gi-Oh embedded in the design and in my opinion it's almost to a fault it's primarily black with the interior being in pink it comes with two laces purple as well as black on the laces themselves there's like these millennium items <laughs> like it's just so gimmicky man i don't know i i just not i'm just not a fan of something like this and the back of the shoe like on the heel part you have the millennium eye as well the soles were also leaked and they have like a silhouette of yugi on one of them and then on the other one they have just basically the Yu-Gi-Oh logo they're quite cringe just as much as the rest of the shoe but i think somebody out there will be able to pull these off and lastly the shoes come with the exodia hang tab did i forget to mention that the tongues of the shoes have it's time to dual heat pressed into them like give me a break this is so so cringe man but yeah that's enough of rant on the shoes let's get into the promo card and the reason that we're all here first of all i want a disclaimer that i personally love promo cards i actually love promo cards as much if not more than set cards i just think there's such a cool way of the company trying to sell certain products where they slap in certain promo cards that are completely invented from thin air most of the times they're reprints but sometimes you do get that you know special release now this dark magician in this shoe i would call prismatic rare or some people would call it secret rare on the japanese side this is almost identical to the dds dark magician this hollow foil pattern is pretty much identical to what the dds dark magician looks like the only difference is the stars are not holographic on the dds as well as the attribute sign in the top right of the card now obviously there's the layout differences like for example the text box and the image itself is bigger on these cards but those are a lot more minute nuances that a lot of collectors wouldn't really pick up on unless they're like super hardcore like myself 
The card is coded with ADC1-EN001, which I believe stands for Adidas Collab Number no. 1. And it looks like it's going to be coming in one of those wrappers that have Konami in the top left. And on this wrapper specifically, you have the Adidas logo as well as the Yu-Gi-Oh logo. Now for the Astute Observer, you're going to notice that there's actually an Adidas logo embedded into the flavor text box. I think that this is such a unique aspect of this card. I mean, we've never really seen this other than like 10,000 Dragon and the uh, 20th anniversary promos on the OCG side. So to be able to get it on the TCG side with the Adidas logo, I think in my opinion, is kind of cool. It's really unique. I mean, I think that this card is going to be a home run, to be honest with you. Now to answer a very important question, which is how will this affect the DDS Dark Magician? In my opinion, I don't think it will affect DDS at all. You guys have to understand that DDS Blue Eyes and Dark Magician have this like kind of majestic aura around them in the Yu-Gi-Oh community okay for some reason these cards were always expensive even from back in the day when starter deck Yugi starter deck Kaiba were around the 20 and 50 dollars DDS Dark Magician and DDS Blue Eyes were around the 80 to 100 and 300 for the Blue Eyes these cards had a mystique around them that collectors always gravitated towards these cards so do I think that this will replace those I absolutely do not think so I think DDS will still hold the reign as one of the most most popular dark magicians the sdy art like the starter deck yugi art from the anime eclipses the lob art harder than the sdk art eclipses the lob art for blue eyes because the lob art for dark magician is atrocious like it is so bad so it's not like you have a third option you only have the sdy and the dds with sdk the lob art is actually kind of decent like it's not as bad obviously it's not as good as the sdk but it's still pretty good like it's not as bad as the dark magician in my opinion at least so because of this i think if you were to ask people what is the prime dark magician i think most people would say that it is the dds one i think that this card will be able to compete on price however i don't think it will affect the price of the dds one so if the dds one is around four to five hundred bucks i think that this one will actually be able to keep up i mean think about it right like the shoes themselves go for two to three times more than what they retailed for right although this shoe is a lot uglier than the white ones i still think that that will be able to carry a huge premium in the aftermarket i think a lot of people are gonna try and grab this shoe i think it's gonna explode in price and if i was to see this settle it would probably be around the five to six hundred dollars for the promo card i mean I, I really can't see it settling for anything less than that people are gonna really go ham for it you have no idea how many dark magician collectors there are in the world people are gonna want this card and i think that it's gonna do really well in the aftermarket and that should be able to answer the question i definitely think it is and i think a lot of people will go after this one now and in the future as long as Konami doesn't overprint these sneaker collabs and they keep it very, very conservative, in my opinion, I think that this has a long way to go. And I can definitely see this being one of those, you know, modern promos that goes the distance, unlike a lot of the promos that come out today that are not very limited or they chose the wrong cards. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I really think that this card is going to be a home run release and I'm going to try and pick up at least two or three of them for my own collection and set them back for a few years. But let me know your thoughts. Do you guys think that this is a gimmicky release? Like I said, you're not going to see me wearing those, but I think the card is pretty awesome, man. Like, I mean, a DDS reprint that is very distinguishable in its own way from the original and it has a very unique identity. It has a lot going for it, man. Like, I, I don't know. I'm sold. <laughs> let me know your thoughts, guys. Comment down below. Like the video video subscribe if you want to see more if you want to support the channel further i have a patreon but you can also purchase your own garden of binders i make them myself they're extremely high quality check them out at strictlysealed.com other than that i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you learned something i'll see you in the next one peace <laughs>